fashion rules you should break. Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. My mission through my channel is to help all of you with your personal style, to help you look like the very best version of yourself every day because when you do look good, you feel good. How you look on the outside affects how you feel on the inside. So it's important. And I'm here to make it simple for you. Today I wanna to talk about fashion rules, how antiquated they are, and how you should really break most of them. So let's get started. The first rule I wanna talk about is wearing white after Labor Day. I think we've established that this is definitely an old school rule that no longer applies. You can wear your white denim year round. You can wear whites year round. And if you need help figuring out how to style winter whites or whites in different seasons, I have done a bunch of blog posts about wearing all white. So I will put links to some of those below. But essentially, when you wanna wear white from head to toe in the winter, what I usually do is I try to mix tones and textures, and that creates a more interesting look. So it doesn't necessarily have to be like bright white sweater, bright white jeans. It can be off white sweater, bright white jeans. It could be fuzzy, off-white sweater with bright white jeans. It could be leather pants that are white with fuzzy sweater. Like you can mix and play with textures, you can mix and play with tones, but certainly do not be afraid to wear white. It is elegant, it is regal, it is beautiful, it is lovely. So embrace it year round, no need to wait just for the summer. The next rule I wanna talk about is prints and mixing prints. A lot of people think you can't mix prints, but that is simply not true. This is a rule you should definitely break if you're drawn to prints. So I do have some guidelines when it comes to mixing prints to make it easier for you, because that's my job, to make style easy for you. Here's what I suggest. Taking one color family, so for example, black and white, okay? Then picking two different scales of print. So if you've got big stripes on the top, maybe do slim stripes on the bottom. If you've got a print on the top that's oversized, maybe you do a tiny print on the bottom. So mixing those prints with different scales helps a lot and also keeping it in the same color family. I don't know if you guys remember, I did a long time ago, like a couple years ago, I did an Old Navy capsule wardrobe and I featured like a floral print pair of pants that was a large scale and then I did a pinstripe jacket. So that's the type of thing I'm talking about. Both of those were in navy and white. And then I did a blog post where I featured these crazy black and white pants that were a small scale print and then a blazer that's black and white striped. So sticking with the same color family, different scale, of print and you're good to go and you will mix prints like a pro. The next rule that absolutely should be broken is mixing metals. This is one of the most common questions I get. Can I wear silver with gold, gold with silver? I have silver hardware on my purse. Can I wear gold earrings? Yes, 100%. What I like to do when I mix metals is I will usually pick an anchor piece, like you see these earrings. One half is gold and the other half is silver. That's what I mean by an anchor piece. Or maybe you have a watch that has a band that's gold and silver. That will just help you to make you feel like it's more like cohesive and it all makes sense. So if your bag has bold gold hardware, you have that watch on and you want to wear silver earrings, it all kind of makes sense. So you absolutely can mix your metals. You could do like a whole layered necklace look with different color golds and maybe, you know, like that antique silver or brass or, you know, different tones too. So it's not just like gold and silver in traditional senses. It can be like the more antique gold or brass gold. It can be like that darker silver, that more like pewter looking silver or metal. Don't be afraid to mix your metals for sure. That is cool. It's totally acceptable. It's an old rule and to make it easier for yourself, pick one anchor piece to tie it all together. The next rule that I want to talk about is a matching set, a twosie, basically a matching set. Okay. This used to be a huge no, no, we don't match things. Things don't match together. I don't know why we 
decided that was not cool, but we did at some point along the way. Well, now that is cool again, and certainly you can do either way. You can do separates, you can mix and match, or you can do a set. I'll often go on websites and actually look and seek out matching sets because I like them. I think they're easy. You don't have to worry about what to pair with that top or what to pair with those pants. It's all together. Easy, simple. So matching sets used to be a don't, is now a do. Before I move on to the last one, I just wanna talk about the matching your shoes to your belt to your handbag thing. Also used to be a thing that you had to match it all, it all had to coordinate. If you were wearing the brown belt, you are wearing the brown shoes, you are wearing the brown handbag, that is not the case anymore. You can mix and match your colors with your shoes, your handbag, and your belt. The last rule I wanna talk about that you should break are unusual color combinations. So for the longest time, it's been drilled into our head that we can't wear blue and black, black and blue together, but you can. It looks so chic and lovely, navy and black together. Another combination that people are scared to wear is brown and black. Why? It's wonderful, it's lovely. Both are so neutral and versatile. You can do black and brown. You can do navy and black. Do not be afraid to try those unusual color combinations. And I think often when you do mix colors in unusual or fresh ways, you end up with an outfit that is special, that stands out, that is unique, that is very stylish. So I highly recommend trying unusual color combinations. See how you feel about it give it a whirl, try it out. And you know, if you're like struggling, you're like, I just, I can't do the black and brown thing. Like, how am I gonna pull that together? Like again, get an anchor piece. Like I once had a belt that had both black and brown in the belt. That's an anchor piece that makes it easier for you. Same with navy and black. So if that's the route you wanna go, then it certainly could be a helpful tool or resource for you, but you don't need that crutch for sure. Okay, so those are some of the fashion rules you should break. Do you guys have a rule that you have a question about? Comment below. Or is there a rule that you've noticed that should be broken? Tell us, share it with us in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that was helpful. I'll put links to some suggestions in the description box as I always do, as well as videos. If you liked this video, I hope that you will subscribe to my channel so you can get the notifications of when I upload new content. You also have to hit the uh, notification bell as well after you subscribe. Thank you guys so much again for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.